and Happy New Year! Welcome to episode 17. Today is Friday the 13th! Ooh. Ooh. So Scott and I decided to take a look back at last year's non-green story- Weird stories! Weird and non-green stories? Well, wacky stories! Weird and wacky non-green stories! Uh, non-sustainable stories! Okay! We will look back at the stories that just didn't fit. And while you watch those, we will be finishing up the new set! So, Happy New Year, and welcome back to Green, Green Tech, Tech Weekly! Scott, are you ready for a new year? Not really. Could we postpone it a couple of weeks? No. Oh. We're almost done with the new set renovations, and while we're doing that, we have the 2011 Strange and Ungreen Stories. At number six, we look back at episode number seven and the biodegradable swimwear. Eco, that's not ungreen. You're right, but it's a little strange, and it gives us a reason to look at the swimsuit again. I see what you mean. Oh, yeah. So watch this. This one isn't so much tech as it is what it does. This compostable swimwear by Eco Luxury designer Lyndon Loudermilk is made from plant starch and as little as possible. Why as little as possible? Because these are bikinis. You realize I can't see the graphic, right? <sighs> well, then here, check this out. Hmm. Yeah, see? I see, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Yep. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait. We're still on, aren't we? On what? <clears throat> the material will take 180 days to break down if buried in the ground. So don't get this for your girl and expect it to melt away as she's swimming. Yeah. You have to explain that to Genie while it's on your iPad. <laughs> Boy, were you right, Eco. Yep. Yeah. In the number five spot, we showed you the poop-powered motorcycle. Oh, yeah. I remember that one. Oh, we made a mistake on that story, though. You're right. We said that the toilet actually worked, but later we found out it's just a sit-on. Still, it's easily the strangest bike we've had on the show. I agree. Our last bike is human-powered, but not any way you could ever guess. Telekinesis! You're terrible at this game. Uh, bouncing pogo bike! I'm just gonna tell you... Do you blow into a sail? This bike runs on human excrement! Oh, shingles! The Toilet Bike Neo, as it's called, was built by the Commode King of Toto. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Wrong Toto. It's a toilet company in Japan. Using an onboard biogas digester to convert the dead organic material into usable fuel via an anaerobic bacteria system to produce methane, the rider actually provides the material by sitting on the commode and making a deposit that looks like the most comfortable bike seat ever. But I don't think I can ride and read the newspaper at the same time. The, the Komodo King plans to use the bike on a 500 mile trip from Kyushu to Tokyo to promote their planned reduction of CO2 emissions by 50% over the next six years. And if you don't think that's cr not crazy enough, the toilet bike talks too. Not so much crazy as disturbing. No word if pants are required to ride or not, and I'm sorry to say this is a one-of-a-kind ride, so don't plan on picking one up for yourself. Ah, shingles. Oh, sorry. In the number four spot, we look back at show 14 in the Whisper Turbine. We chose this because of after some research by Scott. I couldn't find any loud turbines. But while the Whisper part seemed bogus, it is still green. In fact, I recommended a similar product on the Christmas episode. Mm-hmm. Check it out! For our second story, a newly designed wind turbine is silent but powerful. I thought we were better than that. Okay, sorry. Just call it what they call it. That would be the Eco Whisper Turbine. That's better. Traditional turbines normally have three large blades and make a lot of noise, 
But this new design has 10 times the blades and they're smaller. Wait, 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 wait. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos and the big ones aren't that loud. Well, what about this? With all those extra blades, there's a 30% increase in power and they can keep going in lower wind speeds. It's probably because of all that extra surface area. The Australian based company called Renewable Energy Solutions isn't sure if and when they will be putting these into production. So for now, we will just have to put up with the whoosh, whoosh, whoosh noise. Number three, we remember the LED light that has 103 settings. And costs way too much. Mm-hmm. So you ready to get this? Yeah. Okay. That's good. And lastly, we have an LED light that all that solar could power. Made by Sharp, this is the world's most efficient home LED light. The cool part is that you can adjust the brightness and color to make it appear in any of 103 different ways. This lets you set the mood for just about any event you have in mind. All of this is controlled by a small remote. There are several sizes and it's out now starting at $460 for the smallest and $720 for the largest. So start saving those pennies. So 101 uses beyond off and on is worth $700 more? Sharp seems to think so. And that's another show. The number two strange green item is the GPS for electric cars that should already have one built in. So where do you want this, Scott? Uh, that's a good question. Pioneer is out to help hypermilers with a new GPS geared for electric cars. It will estimate how much charge you have left and help you route to your destination. It will recommend better driving habits on the fly and reroute you away from hills that have slow moving traffic at the bottom. As someone who drives an electric car, I like hills where I can coast down them and let the regenerative braking kick in. The 7 inch multi purpose display can receive digital TV and radio as well as play DVDs and MP3s. There's currently no date for US launch yet though. Pioneer is obviously proud of this thing with an expected price tag of just over 3000 US dollars. But for what? As most of these features are already built into the current lineups in dash displays. Uh, the set's almost done and so is our list. In the last spot, that's number one for those playing the home game, we take a look at the Netflix of rechargeable batteries by EarthCell. When they die, you send them back and they will replace them. Since we did this story, the Kickstarter project was fully funded and will be up and running soon. It got funded? Yeah. But it's not green. And that's why it's on this list. This third story is a big rethink in batteries we all use in our gadgets. If you're watching this show, it's a good chance you like gadgets and you also want to save the environment. Yes and yes, but doing these things is hard because of what goes into those gadgets. You're right, and that's where these batteries aim to help. The heavy metals in disposable and rechargeable batteries add up fast with an estimated 3 billion batteries being added to the landfills each year. 3 billion? That really does suck. EarthCell has come to help with its new nickel metal hydride and has a Kickstarter to get it going. Wait, nickel metal hydride are new? They've been around for a while now. Um, you're right. Let me do some checking. And we're back after some fact checking. I knew I was right. Yes, but that's not what I was checking on. Aww. The thing that makes these batteries different is that you can send them back and have them recharge, or if you're done, they will recycle them after being tested. They can be recharged hundreds of times. The business model is that the company will manage your batteries for you by using prepaid mailers to get the batteries back and forth. This sounds really complicated. I mean, I recharge my own batteries, and when I'm done, I take them to the recycle box in the store, and I buy more. It does sound complicated, doesn't it? Well, why did we even do this story? I don't know, you wrote the script. Oh. They do come in a bamboo box though. That doesn't make up for it. Oh. Okay. Eco. Sorry. We hope that you like our Friday the 13th flashback of 2011. And we hope you will like our new set. We will show it off next week. Also in the next few weeks, we will be making a lot more changes on the show. But don't worry, we will always bring you the greenest tech from around the web each week of the year. Remember to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, look for us on Google Plus, and as always, remember to rethink it green. Rethink it green! Rethink it green!
Yeah! I'm gonna get you cans. Say, I'm gonna get you cans. I'm gonna get you cans. Sir, I hate litter. I hate litter. Recycle, don't litter. Recycle. Dang it. Wrong. So, I'll get this light over here. Oh, you guys are still here? So we need show sponsors. Hit us up in the notes or the link on our website if you want to be our sponsor. Thanks. See you around. Hello.